Traveler. I'm Kendra. This is the weekly watch list. I love to watch and today we are watching Challengers starring Zendaya and a couple of white guys. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome back. And this is going to be a special edition of Kendra's Weekly Watch List, which doesn't quite happen every week, but we'll just ignore that. Um, okay, so remember when I introduced that new series to you called Bad Movie Mondays? Remember that? Okay, so. <laughs> I'm so dumb. So to respond to that, if you remember, I said we were also going to have a series called Fresh Movie Fridays. Yeah, okay, so Fresh Movie Fridays is a series that I'm going to start doing. I don't know if it's going to be, probably going to be just monthly for right now because, you know, I have to edit all of this myself and I have two jobs on top of this, so monthly for now. <laughs> well, we're going to watch movies that have been rated very well on that good old Rotten Tomato meter. So the reason that I'm doing this is because there's just so many movies out there that I really want to watch that have been re reviewed very well and you know I have this channel so I'm constantly like oh I can't watch it yet because I'm gonna watch for the channel. So this is my way of so sort of just banging through that list um, and there's a lot of TV shows that I want to get to and get through so you know it's my way of sort of sorting and organizing what I want to do when and how. Um, and it's, so I guess in that respect the themes and stuff are mostly for me. You guys don't have to, you know, be bothered with it if you don't want. But the thing you have to know is that for this Fresh Movie Friday, we're going to be reviewing something that has an 89% on the Rotten Tomato meter, which is pretty dang good. Um, and it stars one of my favorite actresses, Zendaya. Um, and two other guys. <laughs> you know, there's a threesome going on. There's a three-way relationship happening, which is just something that, I mean, Zendaya has been, you know, as she's matured, as she's sort of developed her career, she's been taking on a lot of independent roles, a lot of roles that are, you know, as far removed from her Disney persona as you could possibly get. You know, Euphoria was one of those breakout roles, and she's done other things where, you know, she's just really dug into the meat and the drama and showed you a part of herself that uh, you might not have expected to see. So I think that's probably going to happen here. I have never seen her in this light before. I don't think I expected to see her in this light before. So I'm actually very intrigued uh, by this film. Um, let's watch Challengers. Yeah. detail slow motion to the right of my chair we have Patrick Zwei to the left of my chair we have Art Donaldson never experienced tennis clubs and all that stuff Art Donaldson won the toss and has elected to serve her set Donaldson to serve Okay, we're threesoming already. What's this music? Okay, uh, Zendaya booty. Assuming this is the knee she injured. Because that's her thing, right? She used to be a player, but she got injured. Now she's dating a player? I'm appreciating the detail. 
He's got the six Grand Slam title, two at Wimbledon, two Aussie Opens, two French Opens. He's gotten himself back healthy. He's in really good shape. He's got a great support team around him. His coach, Tashi Donaldson, who also is his wife, has added a couple people to his team. Oh, okay, so she's a coach and she's his wife. Now it's just a matter of getting and what she's an editor as well and they have a kid okay no you're too old no who says that three times <laughs> and he's got a great record on hard courts so if he can somehow find a way to get so uh what y'all not speaking to each other or what's going on y'all yeah, don't even act like y'all like each other like So this is going to be a slow burn. Don't even talk. Y'all ain't even having a good time. Woo, what a marriage. You ready? Decimate that little bitch. Tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Tissue. I think I dig this soundtrack. At first I was thinking it was a little bit out of place, but now I'm starting to really dig it. It's it's fitting. And there goes the racket. He was playing really well. I mean, I get it. <sighs> Pulling you out of Cincinnati. Why bother? I'm just rusty. It's a confidence thing. Get your fucking confidence back. I can't <laughs> do that for you. No one's asking you to. When you play like that, you are. He has not spoken until now. You can just be rich people. If that's all you think you can handle. You can travel. Or you can keep being a tennis player. What do you want? I'm sensing a little living vicariously through here, babe. Like you trying to get some glory through your husband because you your knee got injured. Because that's what I'm sensing. Can I tell you what I want? For real? Because we need to get you some more match time then. I can play Cincinnati. No, no, you cannot. Not like this. I don't think he can really actually tell her what he wants. You need to start winning. Right now, you're getting crushed by guys like Demari. Hey. So we need to go somewhere where there's absolutely nobody on the other side of the net who can shake your fucking confidence. You're evil. Yeah, well, I'm gonna call Tom so he can get you in the draw. Hey. Yeah. I love you. I know. No, she definitely is the one who wants to be playing. Like, that's all through, all up coming out of her pores. <laughs> I need a place to stay tonight so I can rest before my first match. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a card on file. The racket alone is worth like three hundred dollars. <laughs> we need a card that works. Guess you're sleeping in the car and showering at the gym. Yeah, yeah. This guy's seemingly pathetic, but he sure is whooping at Ginger's ass. Girl, none of your stuff is working out because you're not doing it with great intentions, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what the hell? Okay. 13 years. Oh, they were playing together. Okay, this is going to be juicy. There's one of me, Tashi Duncan. <laughs> You don't get it, man. You've never seen her in person. She's in another league. You mean her game? No. I mean, she's the hottest woman I've ever seen. And winner of the Junior Australian Open, Tashi Duncan. Mm hmm. Look at that fucking backhand. Damn, Zendaya. Girl, what can't you do? 
I mean, I'm assuming she trained for this, but I mean, I would love to know what a pro tennis player's reaction to her game would be. She looks good. Intimidated and turned on. Mm. <laughs> Look at these fools. Don't make fun, man. She's a remarkable young woman. I know. She's a pillar of the community. Not yours. <laughs> you saying you want to get pegged with a racket, bruv? Just freely? Just no shame about that. Okay. That is a man who is secure in his masculine attire. She has a cute net dress. I love that they're listening to Nelly. I feel like y'all are gonna be ejected from this party because y'all are so obvious about your fucking thirst. Hey, I'm Patrick Vi. Art Donaldson. I know who you are. You're fire and ice, right? Oh my god. In the flesh. Fire and ice. Fucking incredible today. Thank you. No, really. I mean, I, I felt bad for Anna. Oh, uh, don't. She's a sore loser, a racist bitch. <laughs> You're going to Stanford, right? Yeah. How'd you know that? <laughs> I just accepted my offer, and they, they mentioned you. So it's clear. No, not yet. Who's got the edge here? Why do you waste your time playing college tennis, baby? I need to steal you for a second. The oh, and he knows what's up. Stay the fuck away from them white boys, girl. Nothing but trouble there. You guys are still here. Great party. Oh, yeah. Don't you guys have a final? Should we be like, um, preparing? Leaving? Oh, it's just the yeah. juniors. I don't know how it's gonna go. I actually wanted to ask you about that point hey, earlier. Smoke? Cigarettes? Yeah. No. You wanna go down to the beach? Sure. So, I have to ask you about the Stanford thing. Okay. What's the angle? Why do you want to go beat up on a bunch of girls who are the best players at the high schools? You know they offered classes in college? <laughs> well, my only skill in life is to be hitting a ball with a racket. I get it. Do you? You're making us wait for you. Ew. Ugh. Hey, is this a, is, 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 is this charming? It's brilliant, seriously. You can already see the Adidas campaign. Huh. When are you going pro? As soon as I can. Hitting a ball with a racket is a great way to avoid having a job. Well, that's also your problem. Yeah, of course. Because you think that yeah. this is about expressing yourself, doing your thing. That's why you still have that serve. It works. Yeah, but you're not a tennis player. But you don't know what tennis is. It's a relationship. Hmm. Is that what you and Anna Miller had today? It is actually. We understood each other completely. It's like we were in love. The quiet ginger playing the long game, falling in love didn't exist. quietly over there. Really beautiful together. You screamed. Speaking up at just the right moment. Never heard anything like it before. Yeah. Come hang out with us later. They put you up at the hotel in Flushing, right? We're in room 206. <sighs> Want me to come tuck you in? No. We can just keep talking. Good night. We have beer. <laughs> okay. Right choice. She's focused on her shit. All right, let's say she did come over. Then what? We just, like, keep shooting our shots. It's a terribly shitty hotel. Us, hopefully, and the other one sits in the bathroom. What, you think that's beneath you? I think it's beneath her. You don't feel comfortable sending She's me away? She's not coming, Patrick. She's surprising. She doesn't move the way I expect her to. They don't deserve her. I mean, they don't, but okay. I guess maybe that's why she's probably gonna end up ruining their fucking lives. <laughs> you guys go to like mommy and me classes together? 
<laughs> oh, right, right, right. You guys went to boarding school. Mm. We've been bunkmates since we were 12. So. That's really cute. You ever thought about doing something like that? Boarding school? No, 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 no. We couldn't afford it. And even if I could get a scholarship or something, there's no way that my parents would want me coming of age in an environment like that. <laughs> you! People like you! <laughs> yeah. Right. Duh. How often does this happen? Going after the same girl? Not as often as you think, actually. Really? No. Yeah, we usually have different types. Hmm. So you're saying I should be flattered? Aren't you everybody's type? <laughs> what about the two of you? I'm starting to realize that I was a friggin' prude in high school. There's absolutely no way any guy could get me to do anything like this. <laughs> no. Not even in the same, not, no I, way, so no way in hell. No. <laughs> I taught Art how to jerk off, so. One time, when we were 12, he thought I was asleep and he was, you know, he asked me if I had ever done it before and I told him no. And so he just, he showed me how. We did it together, but like on opposite sides yeah. of the room, mm -hmm. you know. We were talking about cat, weren't we? Cat too. Patrick said it's always yeah. better if you're like thinking about somebody when you're doing it, and so I asked him who you're thinking about, and he was talking about this girl, Cat Zimmerman. Cat Zimmerman. Very oh, erotic. And uh, who who finished first? Oh, I don't I remember. Think you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I knew enough already at this point to have a sock nearby. But I forgot to tell Art about that part. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. That is a very cute story. <laughs> Thanks. I don't... Would I classify that as cute? I don't know about cute. Beer. Yeah, what are y'all gonna do about that? Um... Come here. <laughs> she is... I'm in love! <laughs> I don't like them very much, but she's hot. Go for the ginger first. Yeah. I think I like him more than I like... Him. <laughs> now she's now we get it. That was her angle the whole time. Girl Okay girl, I see you. Ooh, I'm scared of her. I'm scared of her. I'm going to bed. <laughs> okay. She I'm got them begging. Wow. I'll be watching your match tomorrow. Whoever wins can have my number. All right. You can beat him. You know that? You should beat him, actually. Are you saying you want me to? I'm saying you're not going to get my number if you don't. But what do you want? I want to watch some good fucking tennis. I'm in love. Well, at least they're not insecure about making out, which tells me they've probably done that before. How did they get here? How did he end up basically homeless? I mean, he's a asshole, so... Not surprised, but I'm curious. So, do you like play at Wimbledon or the U.S. Oh, no. Open? Or I'm no. uh, guessing that uh, he needs a place well, to stay for the night, and those that's her. You have spots for 128 players. Some years I make it, some years I don't. But, um, if I win this thing in New Rochelle, the ranking will be high enough for the Open. Uh, so, tell me about real estate law. I don't like him. Are you on a fucking date? No. I just need a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. What? Wow. Can I stay at the Ritz? Mm. Do me a favor. Stay the fuck away from us. Wow. Gross. 
Ew, ew. No, girl, not him. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. If the two of you slept together, do a normal search. All right. I'm not asking you to tell me. I'm just saying, if you fuck, serve like me. You know you have a tick, right? Before you throw the ball up, you place it in the exact center of the neck of the racket. Okay, fine, yeah, do that. If you fucked. I'm not telling you anything, Art. You won't be telling me anything, come on. Are you jealous? Yeah. It kind of sucks that uh, he uh, got to her first because I just don't like him. Time, second set, Donaldson to serve. Well, I'm wondering if this movie is going to take this whole match, this whole game. It was going to be flashbacks and then back to this. And then it's like, who's going to win? Did Patrick tell you that he's coming to the Pepperdine match? Mm. Yeah, he told me. We should get dinner or something? Sure, if you want. What's up? Nothing. I mean, she's not stupid. The whole thing you're doing, you're not good at it. I'm not doing it. anything. I'm just... I'm just yeah. Glad you guys are still seeing each other. That's all. Okay. I'm sorry. Hmm. Huh. No, you're not. That's why you showed up there. Why did you ask me to come to lunch with you? Exactly. I told you I had extra meal credits and they were going to expire. Don't be such a stupid pussy. Is he seeing other girls on tour? No. Is that I what mean, this is? Yeah, you clearly cannot match wits with her. He's not in love with you. Like you are? You mean? What makes you think I want someone to be in love with me? Oh, mm, girl. You did it. So why would I give a fuck if he loved me or not? I guess you would. Mm. Cool. Mm. Don't you mm. think you deserve it? Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, who wouldn't be in love with you? I think you might be the worst friend in the world. Maybe. Definitely. You're really committing to this thing. To Tarshi? Mm. Yeah. I like her. No, you like pushing his buttons you is what you me? like. Oh. You like that he, you got her first and you like lording that over him. And watching him be jealous, which means that I don't like you. If they weren't being so slimy about it, I would be excited about it. You know what I mean? But they're just, they're slimy about it. It's slimy. It's not exciting. It's slimy. <laughs> I have no idea how lonely it is on tour. Yeah. Is that why you haven't won any challenges? <laughs> <laughs> ah! She is a asshole with a nice ass. Yeah, I mean she's just a, as big an asshole as he is, I think, which is why she's they find each other so hot. And you could have won, but then you started tanking in the third set. Oh, she come on. She has a tennis fetish. Is that what it is? She has a fucking fetish for tennis, and so, like, she wants to be with a good player, and, like, when he starts not being a good player, she starts not being attracted to him. Is that what's going on? We're always talking about tennis. Yeah, we're always talking about tennis with her. Can we not? That's the thing about Tashi. Sure. What are you doing? I'm ready for my match. Start my routine? If you're not interested in me fixing your game for free, don't worry about it. It's fine. Why do you care so much? Well, we're dating, right? So, I don't know. It'd be a little embarrassing if you suck. I thought I suck now. <laughs> but... It's not college tennis out there. We cannot walk around calling ourselves the Dunkinator. Wow. I'm sorry, I just... Okay. Can we just start over? What do you think over? you need from me? Honestly, what do you think you need from me? Like, there's plenty of girls out here that would love to be your girlfriend, okay? You're charming. You're talented. You got a big dick. Just go be with one of them. I'm not some fucking lap dog who's gonna sit around and let you punish me. I'm not Art. Well, maybe you need someone like that. Someone who's gonna hop on board and be Mr. Tiny Duncan. He's, I don't think he's wrong. For once. You're not a member of my fan club? Mm. I'm your peer. Hi. Okay, well, bye. Good luck, champ. That was definitely inevitable. Girl, why are you like this? Why you? Why do you need everybody to be a member of your fan club? 
Who knows? Maybe she was just getting bored, chill. And now, your 2002, 2005, and 2006 NCAA champion, give it up for Stanford Women's Tennis. <laughs> oh, on the phone. Hmm, so he's there, but her, uh, I guess now ex-boyfriend is not. Don't act like you're not happy. Don't play mad, girl! Unless that does something for you. Beast! Man, she's barely moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Tasha, you're okay. You're okay. Oof. Looks really bad. I'm sorry. Out. Get out! Please! Out! Patrick, get the fuck out! He done staked his claim, honey. Stop going easy on me. I'm not. Gary, you can play with somebody else. I can just go home if you want. Hit the ball. Pussy. <laughs> Wait. She is an asshole. <laughs> like, I love her, but I don't like her. Don't hover. I want to feel sorry for her because tennis is obviously her life, you know? It seems to be the only thing that really drives her. She can't seem to focus on anything else. So it must be pretty damn soul wrenching, you know? Soul sucking. To be injured that way before you can even grow pro. Maybe you want to jump ship? Come be my assistant coach. That's exactly what she wants. Uh, work. You think that would be a good idea? That was a long time it ago. It was not that long ago. Well, it feels like a long time ago. <laughs> no, it was not that long ago for you. You just want her around. Don't trip. Quit lying. After your injury, I couldn't help but just think about what would have happened if. I had beaten Patrick. You never really said if you're still in love with me or not. Girl, you know that he is. Who wouldn't be? That's what she needs. Validation in tennis. And uh, that is what he is willing to give her. I really want to kiss you right now. <laughs> mm, of course you do. <laughs> she is a manipulator. Code violation, racket abuse, new balls, please. I'm gonna propose something to you. It's gonna make you angry. I want you to be my coach. What? Even if he wins the Open, completes his career Grand Slam, Art's still gonna retire as someone who's just really, really good. But imagine if you could turn Patrick Zweig into a guy who wins a slam. Slam! Oh! She did! You know that when I'm good, I'm one of the best in the you world. You're 271st best I in the fucking world. still have a shot. You're 31, you have a better shot with a handgun in your mouth. Damn. Tush. No, you're not 20 years old anymore, and it's not cute to be walking around pretending like you need to grind it out at these bumfuck tournaments and sleep in your fucking car. And it is unforgivable that you would ask me to devote a single second of my fucking time to help you achieve your fucking dream. What dreams, Patrick? You can feel him giving up already, even though you know he's not going to retire until you let him. He is a grown man. He can do sure. whatever he wants. Sure, but he doesn't. He does whatever you want. That's true. Except although now he's you not suck. Even pretending to like it. He's ready to be dead. And you're starting to realize you might not want to be buried with him. Because who is he to you if he's not playing tennis? He got you there. I think he is to me. A racket and a dick. Yeah. Does Art know about Atlanta? I mean, he is right, which I can't say. Oh, what happened in Atlanta? You keep saying you came here because Art needed matches. I think you came for something else. You think I came here for you? Well, baby, you are standing in an alley with this me. motherfucker. I have seen you. You look like shit. I'm gonna beat him. Okay, well, that's Even nice. if you could beat him, it wouldn't change anything. It'll break him, you know it will. It won't make you. Okay? It's too late for that. 
My number in case you change your mind about the coach. I won't. Then throw the number away, stupid -o. No, but she gonna keep it, of course. He's very zen about the fact that he's miserable. I mean, he's probably been quietly realizing that she's not really in love with him for a minute. Can you do me a favor? Can you not, like, demolish me tomorrow? Come on, man! Thirst trapping like a mug. He wants his, his little thing back. We've been here for a week, and we haven't said two words to each other. It's just, it's silly, man. It's, it's dramatic. Why are you so angry with me? Maybe you're still just really disturbed by the fact that she could have been into someone like me. When we were teenagers. Huh. Taking place tomorrow evening. He has really been in tip-top form this year, hasn't he, Jason? He's found a way to favor right now to win the U.S. Open. You're either trying to get your career back in on track, or you're trying to fuck around again. Stop fucking around. That's what got you in the position that you're in. Why are you doing it more? Doesn't make any sense. And look at this. Of course. Yeah. Like, what is it about for you, dude? Like, I don't... Yes, yeah. I think this might be the one time that the music is not right for the scene. Damn, okay, just right, right to it. I do find it disturbing. There's no need, man. Oh my god, I can't believe my luck that I will run into you so late. Of course he knew. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And are they gone? Yes, they are. Of course he knew. I mean, if you come in here swinging your dick around like I'm supposed to be afraid of it, but no. do you realize how embarrassing it is that you are here right now? Not quite as embarrassing as you being here. I'm just stopping by, man. This is where you live. Hmm. I always tried to figure out what happened to you, but you know, the more I've thought about it, the more I realize it's what didn't happen. You never grew up. You still think you can talk to me like you're my peer because we came from the same place. But it's not about where you come from in tennis, Patrick. It's about winning. And I do. A lot. You never beat me. So what? This is a game about winning the points that matter. I don't matter. Not even to the most obsessive tennis fan in the entire world. Oh, and you know who that is. We're not talking about tennis. What the fuck else do I have to talk to you about? Okay. All right. Thank you for having your little moment in the sauna, bringing him down a peg or two. I wanted to come in here and wish you luck, Art. Okay, well, good. You've done that. Shut up. Now I miss playing with you. Well, I don't miss playing with you, man. I'm too old for it. I have a lot more respect for art now. <gasps> Thank you. Good night, honey. All right. Talk you both in. You sleep tight, okay? I love you. I love you, sweetie. Sleep tight. I got my key. You have it? Yes, I okay. do. Bye bye. What's the matter? You don't want to go spend time with your husband? I'm going to say something. It's probably going to make you angry. I want to retire this year whether we win the Open or not. I don't want to be one of those guys who doesn't know when to walk away, okay? It's embarrassing to still be doing this shit when you're 40. If you want to quit playing tennis, you can quit playing tennis. You don't need my permission. It's your love and acceptance that he's asking for, babe. Not your permission, and you know that. I'm playing for both of us, Tashi. I know that. If you don't win tomorrow, I'll leave you. Hmm. Serious, does that help you? Who the, the fuck, fuck does this not help me? me? Shut up, 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 girl! That's a goodbye kiss, my darling. Can you just hold me until I fall asleep? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make a prediction. It's probably not gonna happen. But I bet you he's gonna win and he's gonna leave her. 
I hope. Ooh, I hope that's what happens. Like, that's why I'm with art, because there's a difference between getting older, you know, just getting older, just aging, and actually growing up. And unfortunately, I think it's been being married to her and having her break his heart and, you know, having a, a child to worry about and being tired of the game and understanding that, you know, she's living vicariously through him that finally made him realize, yeah, all right, I mean, I love you, baby, but I'm going to have to set you free because this is not working for me anymore. So that's why I respect him. I don't want to be parked here long. Someone's going to take him a hooker and call the cops. You can go back to my hotel. The money just came in this I afternoon. I am not here to fuck you, Patrick. You're not? No. Uh. <laughs> well? I'm asking you to lose tomorrow. He's doing really well this week. He's ready to come back. He's ready to make a shot at the open. And if he wins tomorrow, he'll know he can do it. He needs this. What about what I need? Give a fuck about what you need. This is unforgivable. Don't fucking you know, touch me. I'm fucking kind to the both of you right now. Okay? I'm taking such good care of my little white boys. Drive the fucking you know car, what Patrick. What the most frustrating what? part of this is? You know what? what really drives me crazy? You did come here to fuck me. But you're so full of shit that you won't even admit that to yourself. It's the only way to get you to throw the fucking match, then sure. Go fuck yourself, you absolute loser. I'm the loser. Yeah. You're both losers. Pull over. Come on, don't Pull the that. fucking car over, Patrick. Fine. Pull over. Okay, fine. You gonna hit me again? Huh? Ooh, okay. Didn't expect that. She mad because she's right. Ew, and you're gonna kiss him after you spit on him? That's gross. That's gross. Y'all deserve each other. <laughs> You have to make him feel like he earned it tomorrow. Hmm. You can't just give up in the middle of the match. You sure this is what you want? What else could I want? And what's in it for him if he does? Just gonna keep having an affair? Because I'm pretty sure Art is gonna leave her regardless. <laughs> Got the nerve to wear a cross. Acting all unholy. Wow. Wow. And she has no idea what that means. Oh, shit. Leave her, Art. You gotta leave her, bro. Fuck off. Donaldson. Win the match, baby. Now I want you to wipe the floor with them. And then leave her. Win for me, babe. I wouldn't do that to you, Art. I wouldn't do that to you. These slow-mo shots have added easily 20 minutes onto this movie. <laughs> Could go either way. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is happening. She's getting her life right now. They finna kiss? Y'all gonna kiss? Well, they found the love for the game and the, and the love for each other. Now she's screaming. Look at her. Look at her. Please tell me that he leaves her. Please. I need... I need... You assholes! Well, well, well. I really enjoyed that. It was uh, very intense. Uh, but that's right up my alley. I think I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Let's talk about it.
That was so unfair. That was so unfair. I really wanted to know what was gonna happen after the match. You think they'll do a sequel? <laughs> I really wanted Art to leave her. I wanted to see that because I just don't think that she deserves him and I don't think he should be trapped in that relationship anymore. But you know, I, I'm going to assume that he probably did. Um, and I'm going to hope that Art is mature enough not to get dragged back into his very toxic relationship with his uh, boarding school chum, uh, Mr. Zweig. Um, that was really good. I had a I had a great time watching that. I really loved the music. I loved the cinematography. I loved the 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 tone. Um, very sort of dark comedy, very, um, I just, it reminds me of like these really good, dramatic, sexy, um, almost thrillers, but not quite thrillers, you know, movies like, um, Closer, I don't know if anybody remembers that movie, but it came out like, what, 2002, 2003, um, and it was about sort of like these high, high stakes, sort of heightened reality relationships where everybody is a hoe, everybody is an asshole, everybody is always swapping, you know, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I just really thought that the erotic sort of undertones to this were really well done and I really loved the acting. Man, I, Zendaya is a, is a force to be reckoned with. I think she, I don't, I don't have no idea what award she's been nominated for, if she has, but she needs, she's probably going to win an Oscar one of these days soon, I hope, um, because she's very, very, very good. Um, the other two actors are really good. I especially liked the character of Art the more of the time that I spent with him in the movie, um, and yeah, I mean, I think that, um, Tashi is a badass, but she's also kind of a bad person, you know, like, it just really is unfortunate that that badassery has to come with the price of her being narcissistic um, and uh, addicted to tennis so much so that she can't seem to function normally if it's not high stakes and about tennis or if it's not validating her existence in some way. So yeah, um, textbook narcissist. And then you know, Zweig is also a, a narcissist and an asshole, and he knows that. At least he admits it. So that's one thing I can respect about him, is that he's aware of what a shit person he is, and he doesn't pretend to be anything other than a shit person. Um, and then there's Art, who starts out kind of, you know, doing the typical male teenager, you know, rich male teenager bullshit, being selfish, being stupid, being all about, you know, getting the ladies, but I could see quite plainly that he fell in love with that girl and that he was in love with her. Um, did, was it necessary? Did it really help his life? I mean, he got a daughter out of it in a pretty decent career, I suppose, but he, he wasn't happy. He clearly was not happy with her. He wanted to be happy with her. You could see that he wanted to be happy with her. Um, but he just seemed like the kind of person who he's very good at enduring you could that's written all over him he just he just shuts up and he gets it done and that is school that is tennis and that was his marriage apparently you know like he knew what it was all about he knew that he was playing for her but he endured that because he loved her and wanted to be with her um and i think that the way that that actor played that was very very good so yeah i can see why this movie earned its uh 89 percent rotten tomato score i can see why everybody loved this movie i was so surprised by this movie i don't know what i thought it was gonna be i didn't expect it to be quite as cerebral quite as like you know, the, the mind games and manipulation. I don't know. I just thought it was going to be, you know, some hot young people getting hot and young and sexy, but, um, and, you know, playing tennis, but the, the, the mind games and then sort of like needing each other and getting off of, e of each other's competitiveness. Like I, you know, I didn't expect that. It was very, it was grown, you know, it was much more grown folk <laughs> than I expected from this movie. So, um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, that was a great first Fresh Movie Friday. Um, you know, a great queer gem because it's very queer coded. I mean, not even coded. It's there. Like they made out for like a full 
two minutes and love each other's dicks, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like they fell back in love with each other at the end there. Like, oh, we don't need her. Let's, let's, uh, let's do this whole thing. thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so if you like what you see, please like the video and please subscribe so we can watch more awesome movies together. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.